Regular steel, like these nails here, made up of iron and just a little bit of carbon, they're attracted to magnets. They're magnetic. But what about stainless steel? That's a little bit more complicated because there are many different types of stainless steel. Stainless steel is made of iron, a little bit of carbon, and then chromium, but it can also have nickel, manganese, and even nitrogen. And those mixtures, how those are mixed together to make the alloy, the stainless steel alloy, that determines whether it's magnetic or not. Let's start by looking at these stainless steel knives. Things like knives, razors, and many tools are made from this martensitic stainless steel. It's a harder type of stainless steel which you need when you cut things. So we take and we put the magnet near the martensitic stainless steel, the knives here, and we see that it's attracted to the magnet. So each one of these knives is attracted to the magnet. And we can say that martensitic stainless steel, that's magnetic. Let's look at another type. Things like sinks and surgical tools, they're made of something called austenitic stainless steel. This is the type of stainless steel that's most produced. And as we test and put our magnet near it, you can see that it's not attracted to the magnet. So austenitic stainless steel is not magnetic. Do note, I feel a little bit of a magnetic pull there, but very, very little. These stainless steel chemical tools here they're also made of this austenitic stainless steel, and they don't attract the magnet either. Maybe a little bit on the ends, but not hardly at all. These three spoons are kind of interesting. The first one, it's not magnetic, so I'm guessing that's austenitic stainless steel. The one in the middle, just a little bit. And the one on the end, when we test that, bam, that's attracted very strongly to the magnet. It's likely that that last spoon there is something called ferritic stainless steel. It's cheaper to make and it's often used for domestic appliances and things like the spoons here. But it is interesting that these three spoons are all very different and likely made from different types of stainless steel. And really it's only the last spoon, which I would suspect is ferritic stainless steel, that's attracted strongly to our magnet. So in answer to our question, stainless steel, some types are magnetic and some types aren't. Regular steel, just iron and carbon, that's going to be magnetic though. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.